Yo guys, what's going on? Tim to say, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a clean and very simplistic Fortnite styled uh, starting soon screen for streams. A lot of you guys have actually suggested this, so here it is today guys. It's very easy to do and it looks really cool. So yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to unlock the template, the free template, all you guys have got to do is smash 100 likes. That's it, and then I'll put a link in the description. So yeah, smash 100 likes. Um, comment down below what videos do you like to see from me next on the channel. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on, uh, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, but yeah, guys, I'd just like to say thanks so much for the sick support on my channel. It's been awesome. Uh, keep it up, guys. Um, and yeah, follow me on Twitter at TimpusHD as well. Um, because I always tweet out when I'm going to upload and stream and other stuff over on there. So follow me at HD. And yeah, let's just get straight on to the video. Right guys, so we are here in Photoshop, so this is what we will be creating, it's very easy. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight on into it. So the first thing we're going to do is you want to find a Fortnite Im uh, background image. Um, and I'm just going to choose a really dark blue colour here, alt backspace to fill it in. And you want to press control, you want to paste in a Fortnite background. So I've already got one right here, I'll just be using this one and I'm just going to resize it like so and I'm gonna duplicate it because I'm gonna need two so for one of them you want to set it to luminosity let's just hide the other one so we can see what we're doing for one um, set it to luminosity and just bring down the opacity of it quite a bit to something like that next we're gonna add a rectangle in the middle and we're gonna make this like a, a light blue color to follow the theme and just make a rectangle in the center and rasterize it like so, and then you press Control T and just arrange it into the center. And then what you want to do is hold Control, Shift and Alt, and we're just going to create a slant to it like so. And that looks really cool. Next thing, we're going to press Control U on the keyboard and bring the saturation down all the way. Um, and you want to create a clipping mask to the rectangle that we created. And we're going to set that to overlay. And then I think once we've done that, we're just going to press Control E to merge it. And we're going to double click on that rectangle and add a gradient overlay to it. And set it to overlay as well. And just bring down, bring up the opacity of it. Then you want to add an inner glow as well. And set, set it to overlay. And you want it to be really thin and small. And just, yeah, once we've done that, we're going to rasterize it. Then you want to press Ctrl J and um, press Ctrl J twice and then on the second one so, uh, press Ctrl and click on the thumbnail so it's got an outline so it's selected. Go to modify contract by 5 and press delete on the keyboard then press Ctrl U and we're going to make it white and we'll set that to overlay and using arrow keys we're just going to move that to the left a bit and you can duplicate that as well to make it more visible. And then for the other rectangle that we uh, duplicated, do the exact same, modify, contract. We're gonna do it by uh, nine this time and press delete on the keyboard, press control U and then make it white. And we're gonna move this one to the right. And what I didn't do in the actual original image is I didn't erase like, areas but you guys can do that something like this looks pretty cool um, and then next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press ctrl J twice again on the rectangle in the middle press ctrl T and we're just gonna move it to the left quite a bit and then we're gonna set it to overlay and then on the other one do the exact same and set it to overlay as well so in the around the same position something like that set it to overlay so now we've got that and we're just going to add a new layer at the very top and we're going to add a spot of white at the top like so and i know that might not be directly in the middle but still looks good and then at the bottom add a spot of white and set that to overlay like so and now we're just going to add some color corrections so click the half circle at the bottom go to brightness and contrast brightness down contrast up Color curves, bring the brightness, the bring this part up and this part down, sorry. 
and then exposure, bring the brightness, the exposure up, sorry, and then the offset up a bit, and then the gamma correction up as well. So it kind of makes all the colors pop out. Then you want to go to color balance and whatever color you're using, you want to move it over to that side. So blue, I'm going to make it more magenta and then and blue as well. So let's just group all that together and you can see it just makes it look a lot nicer. So next what you want to do is, oh yeah, so for the background, the background image that we like, you know, decrease the opacity off, duplicate it, then go to filter, uh, pixelate color half tone and set it to eight and as you can see it's now got like a cool half tone in the background it gives it a really cool texture um, so yeah now we're gonna add some text at the very top and just put starting soon um, I'm using <coughs> the font Hemihead right now but in the actual image I used one called Kenyan Coffee that you guys can download for free you can download both of them for free yeah, starting soon, you can make it as big or small as you want. I think, I know this one's, this is a lot bigger than the original image. Uh, and this, that's actually a lot lighter blue to be fair. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna double click on it. Go to gradient overlay, make sure it's on normal. Bring down the opacity of it and then inner glow. And we're just gonna rasterize the layer style. Duplicate it. Then press Ctrl and click on the thumbnail, and we're gonna contract it by two, and then delete on the keyboard, and we'll move that down. So you've now got a little outline, and you can set that to overlay if you want, and duplicate it a few times. That looks pretty cool, so I think I'll leave it like that to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much almost done right here. I know the original one was a lot more lighter blue, like more it's more like that um, but yeah what you can also add is just like spots of color so let's go to like a blue and you can just like click in certain areas and add a spot of blue so something like that and make sure it's set to screen or color dodge I think color dodge looks better and just bring down the opacity. But yeah guys, that is pretty much it. Uh, I'm thinking of doing an animated version of this um, with some cool electric going down the side. So I think I might do that for one of my next tutorials. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If we break 100 likes, I'll release a template. Hmm. I think I actually prefer this one. It looks a lot cleaner. Uh, I might add some more stuff to it, but 100 likes and I will release a template for this, guys. Subscribe if you are new. Um, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I stream at 7 p.m. UK time every day. So make sure you come down to them. And yeah, another reason to turn on notifications. But yeah, I hope you're all having a sick day today. I'll see you in the next video.